Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Today's vehicle video, hey, we've got a brand new 2022 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid SE Edition. This is an all new trim for 2022, slotted just below the XSE Hybrid. This is a really great looking little rig. In today's video, we're gonna cover the exterior and then we'll dive inside and check out the interior on this new 2022 SE Hybrid from Toyota. So starting up front on the 2022 RAV4, uh, Toyota has an all new headlight uh, design and assembly up front on the 2022. So first real change on the RAV4. And so the headlights are arranged a little bit differently. The uh, daytime running lights are now up on the upper section here. And then your driving light headlights are down here. And these are all LED headlights, daytime running lights, uh, turn signals. Everything's LED for 2022. We have automatic high beams on the RAV4. And we also have automatic on and off for your uh, headlights as well. Now the SE edition does not come with fog lights. So down here on the lower bumper, there's a, a full vent here, and that's where you could install some fog lights if you wanted to. But again, it does not come standard. So the color on this one is midnight black, uh, and everything is blacked out, which I think is really cool on the midnight black. So you've got gloss black, uh, full vents here, a really great gloss black uh, mesh front grille and this does have active grille shutters as well. Blacked out lower fascia here on the bumper and then for some odd reason they went with a silver trim on the very bottom here which is similar to what you see on the XSE. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it's not black as well. And then of course you do have the blue hybrid badge right there and then behind that badge is where the dynamic radar cruise control sensors are. So that's a really sharp looking front end on there. I'm going to go ahead and just swing around to the back and show you the uh, rear lights while I've got them all on. Also notice we have LED turn signals in the mirrors. And then as we swing around the back, we have LED tail lights as well. Love those red uh, cornering lamps there. And then there's a LED third brake light up here in the bumper, or in the tailgate, I'm sorry. And then down here, there's actually two uh, license plate lights and also your um, backup cameras under there as well. So I just wanna give you a quick look at the lighting configuration. Notice also the LED light here on the outside mirror. So if somebody's here in your blind spot and you're going to make a lane change, that's a great way to let them know that you're coming over and allow them the time they need to uh, speed up, slow down, or just get out of your way. So let's go ahead and uh, swing around to the side here. So the uh, SE does have an, kind of an all black theme going on here. That seems to be pretty popular. Of course, the paint on this one is midnight black, but the SE does come standard with these uh, 18 inch black painted, gloss black painted, uh, multi-spoke uh, alloy wheels. They look really nice on there. Uh, and th then the front disc brakes on here, these are going to be a 12.2 inch. Those are ventilated front disc, twin piston calipers. Of course we have ABS, we have traction control, stability control. The front suspension on the SE is a uh, sport tuned independent McPherson strut over uh, coil spring, coil spring over McPherson strut, I should say. As I mentioned, that it is sport tuned. There's a front stabilizer bar, and then your rear suspension is multi-link rear suspension, and that too has a stabilizer bar. So it does handle very nicely at high speed and cornering. Uh, the SE edition does have painted colored to match uh, over the fender moldings as well where most RAV4s have the matte black finish. This looks awesome 
but personally I like the matte black finish because if this gets a scratch on it I can just pull it off and replace it with another one right directly from the parts department no need to paint it but uh, the black does look pretty nice also you'll notice that there are uh, mud splats up on the front side of the wheel to protect the front of the uh, bumper and then also uh, the lower cladding on here the body side molding down below is painted color to match gloss black as well where in most RAV4s again that's going to be a matte black finish and then notice that that is an actually an applique right here so it actually wraps over the top of the original door so again that can be replaced quite easily however on the SE if you uh, scratch it or damage it you're probably going to need to get it painted before you replace it. So that's just one thing to think about. Most RAV4s, it's matte black, so you can just swap it out quite, quite easily. The SE does have colored to match outside uh, door handles, colored to match outside mirrors, LED turn signals, and then it does have this chrome trim. These do fold in for tight parking spaces. And then they also break away in the event that somebody clips it with a bike or a grocery cart. Blind spot monitoring on this one, heated outside mirrors, power mirrors, standard. And then the uh, window molding, which is interesting, is all chrome, as well as the all-wheel drive badge here on the lower. Privacy glass on your back windows. We do have the gloss black rail system. Power uh, sliding moonroof is an extra. It's part of the SE convenience package so that gives you the power moonroof and the power uh, lift gate. 1265 extra for those two features. Your rear brakes, those are ventilated disc brakes and those are going to be, I think those are an 11 inch uh, disc brake. The tire on here, 225-60 R18 uh, of course. As we slide around to the back, we do have a colored to match shark fin antenna, colored to match upper spoiler, and then this sail panel here that's all gloss black and it wraps down into the tail lights, which is also gloss black. And there's some of those uh, vortex generators here on the lenses as well. Those are designed to reduce wind noise and such. There's also one of those vortex generators right down here designed to bring the wind out and around the uh, back wheels. As I mentioned earlier, the rear taillights are a full complement of LED taillights. Privacy glass, rear window defrost, third brake light, washer wiper. This glass does not open on here, by the way. Chrome badging for the Toyota hybrid badging, chrome SE hybrid badging, chrome RAV4 badging, and then the lower part of the bumper is similar to the silver painted finish we saw on the lower part of the front bumper. And then we do have dual exhaust tips. This one has the extra charge uh, black exhaust tips. So those are uh, easy to put on. If you buy one or if you have one now and you wanna put those on yourself, those can be added right over the top of the existing mufflers uh, or exhaust tips that are on here. These little uh, reflectors down here do not light up, but they're there for added visibility. The uh, SE edition is a hybrid uh, RAV4, so we've got a combination of the gasoline engine over on this side, and this is going to be uh, Toyota's 2.5 liter four-cylinder 16 valve uh, VVTi gasoline engine. That's the same engine they use on the non-hybrid editions. Also the same engine they use on the Toyota Camry and the same hybrid system that is on the uh, Sienna. On this side of the engine compartment, this is where we find the hybrid components. So all the electrical motors and uh, such. So the interesting thing about the, the RAV4 hybrid is that as an all-wheel drive, which is the only way the hybrid comes, it actually does not have a drive shaft. The rear wheels on the RAV4 hybrid is powered by an electric motor. 
And so for the most part, when you're driving this vehicle around, it is a front wheel drive SUV. But on the occasion where like today, I look outside and there's fresh snow, the system automatically will, will turn on the electric motors when it uh, uh, deems necessary. So it helps with fuel economy tremendously uh, because you don't have all of that extra weight and those moving parts. And the fuel economy on this one is actually 40 miles per gallon uh, because of all the technology that's built into it. So the engine and the transmission, the transmission is a CVT automatic transmission, uh, which has a sport normal and eco mode, uh, also has a trail mode. Uh, the engine transmission have a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, no deductible. And then your hybrid system has an eight year, 100,000 mile uh, warranty on the mechanical uh, elements. And then the hybrid battery has a 10 year, 150,000 mile uh, power tr or warranty on it. And there's no deductible on any warranty on the Toyotas. And then finally, under the hood, uh, every Toyota comes with Toyota Care. So Toyota is going to cover your basic maintenance. So you, it's, they're going to cover your oil changes, cover your fluid top offs, and your tire rotations uh, for two years or 25,000 miles. And on a vehicle like that, uh, it will save you literally hundreds of dollars over the first two years of ownership. Uh, the oil change intervals are at 10,000 miles and then the tire rotations are at 5,000 miles. So Toyota's gonna take care of that for two years or 25,000 miles. A really uh, great warranty package. And then the vehicle itself, and all Toyotas do, has a three year 36,000 mile limited warranty. And that covers manufacturer defects on other items on the vehicle. That's my uh, exterior overview on this 2022 SE Hybrid. Again, a new edition for 2022. Uh, be sure and catch video number two, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive inside, and we'll check out the interior and learn about all the great features for 2022 on the inside of the RAV4 Hybrid. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you'd like to order one, uh, which is what kind of you have to do today if you want one, is order them. This one's sold. Uh, go ahead and give me a call. Drop me an email or put something in the comments. And uh, we'll reach out to you and see if we can get you one ordered right away. This is Tony, Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching.